right, it's Roger with iGadgetGeek, and today I'm going to bring you a video walkthrough of a new ROM that I've installed on my Inspire. It's the MIUI ROM for the, H, for the Desire HD and Inspire 4G. So we'll go ahead and turn it on and start with the lock screen. Now the neat thing about this ROM is there's a lot of different themes and everything out there, so you can really get a full customized look of the phone itself as you can see there it has the cyanogen mod on and off does the same kind of thing there now the neat thing about this ROM on the lock screen is if you touch here it'll take you directly to your phone this will take you directly to your messaging and if you slide here it directly unlocks the phone now as you can see here I have some different widgets this is the stock launcher that comes with the MIUI ROM um, and I have of course a widget here and I will get into that a little more and I will have links to all of this software on my website but first off let's just start with the actual settings now this ROM is going to give you a look and feel a lot like a iOS type device as you can see here's all your settings and everything and it does look and have that real same feel of an Apple device but you have your personal your system and programs and of course all of these you're able to go through now one of the nice things under programs if you go down here to the battery it'll give you your battery level and you can monitor like you can on most other Android systems to give you an idea what's using what but under this battery there's also a battery indicator style as you can see here I have top bar and if you look at the top of my phone there's a green bar now if you switch it to percentage it changes to a battery with a percentage in it now we'll go back to the battery indicator and you can have just the standard one which has nothing or you can switch to the top bar which is the one that I prefer and you have this green bar across the top of your screen and as you use your power that bar will decrease now I've been running this ROM for about a week now um, I really haven't noticed any any major bugs or anything um, my quadrant score is really good on this ROM. It is built off of the Cyanogen mod. It uses the Cyanogen mod as a base, and then they take and they tweak it and really bring you a nice customized look to your interface. Now, with the drop down notification, as you can see here, you have all your buttons. You have, of course, for your backlit, your volume. You can turn your data off, your Wi Fi, your GPS, Bluetooth, your rotation, all of those things. Even here, you have a reboot option. You press that and it'll directly reboot your phone or you can turn it off. Now those are your toggles. You go to notifications and any notifications you have will show up there. Now if you don't, if you uh, press the home button, it will zoom out and give you all of your home screens. As you can see here, this is highlighted as my main home screen. If you touch that home on another, that will become your main home screen. Now you don't get an app drawer on this launcher like you do other launchers. You just get multiple home pages, much like Apple. Now, the real nice thing about this is you can build folders. As you can see, here's a folder with a bunch of applications in it. Now those folders, you're able to design and put anything you want in those folders. And two, depending on how many applications you have in those folders, they will scroll too. So you don't only have so many apps. You can actually put multiple apps into each of those. As you can see here they will actually once you're in there it'll scroll. As you can see here I have a lot of applications in this one folder. Now your dialer and everything too looks quite different as you can see there's your dialer your contacts and everything has changed as well. Now on this home page I usually have this little contact dialer and then here's some more apps here. Now this comes with a built-in backup application and that helps you if you want to upgrade when they release new updates and everything you can actually back everything up with this backup you can go in here and go back up you can back up your contacts your call records your messaging Wi-Fi settings desktop notes and your apps which makes it really nice so then when you wipe everything and you install that new MIUI ROM update you can go in and put all your data right back in there the camera on it is real nice so I almost dropped my phone go ahead and pull this okay, as you can see here the camera app is real nice you can also switch to video settings and all of those things within the app which makes it nice uh, 
We'll go ahead and take a look at the gallery app that comes with it. It's a little different. If you look at the top, you can do your favorite folders, all folders, or look at everything on your SD card. So you do all folders and it kind of gives you an idea, each one of these, and then you touch on it and it's going to expand out to all the pictures. Which makes, you know, it's a nice photo all app. Right, so let's go ahead and take it, the built-in music player. It's kind of nice. As you can see here, you have your artists, your albums, your folders, your playlists, and all that type of things. And it uses your album artwork. So if you open this up and you play, what's kind of nice, as you can see here, it'll actually show you the album artwork. And then if you touch on there, it'll actually download the lyrics for you. And it'll highlight them as the song sings through the lyrics, which I think is kind of neat. Touch on it again and you'll go back to your cover work and it has a little you know, EQ down there. Of course your volume up and down. So that's kind of a real nice built in uh, video player and of course the file explorer that's built in is quite nice as well. So you can look down here on the bottom it'll show you your SD total space, the available space, and it'll actually show you what different types of files are taking up what space. So that makes it you know kind of nice. Of course the built-in calculator is a pretty standard calculator. Now let's take a look at some of the built-in programs that really make the the MIUI ROM quite neat. If you look here you have this theme manager. Now what that does is allow you to download these themes and each one of these themes is going to totally change the look of your phone. And now as you can see here this is uh, the default theme that I'm currently on but to kind of give you an idea of just how different you can make this theme look I'm gonna go ahead and pull up this buff theme so there would be your new lock screen as you can see here, it totally changes your drop down, your dial pad, what your contacts look like, your settings, what your text messages look like, and all of those things. Um, you can also, as you create that theme, and you can edit each different individual aspect of that theme. If you go into Edit Theme, you can change just the boot animation. You can come in here, change just the lock screen to anything that you've downloaded. You can change your notification bar to anything that you've downloaded. Uh, icons, you can also change just the way your icons look, depending on you know what themes you've downloaded. You can also come in here to change the font to any font that you download. And what I'm going to do on my website is I'm going to put a link up to their forms so you can download a lot of this stuff. You can change the dialer style, of course ringtone, notification, alarm, and all that, and you can back up your theme. Now it also comes with the MI UI dev here and what that is is it's much like the XDA developers app. It's an app that takes you directly to the forms and on there you can download a lot of different themes and applications, different tweaks and everything just for this ROM. Um, so what we're going to do now is let's go ahead and take a look at a quadrant on it. So we'll run the quadrant to kind of give you guys an idea of uh, how this ROM does on a quadrant. So we'll go ahead and just take a second here and let it run. Yes, we want to go online and get our score. All right, so let's take a look. We got 1813, which is pretty good. Now this isn't overclocked or anything. This is running the standard talked about settings too, on my is CP. the GPS on this particular you know different ROMs and everything having problems with GPS there's a few things you can do really to optimize your GPS first things you want to do is get the faster fix you want to open that faster fix application allow it access to your route now here you want to tell it where you're at here default is Asia so you want to go ahead and select North America and select go and what that does is it actually changes and it sets it to North America as you can see there North America pool and all that now once you've done that you want to come in here make sure your GPS is turned on now in my house so it's going to take probably a little longer to get a lock but then you want to open up a GPS stats and then go in here to tools 
manage a GPS state and hit reset and then give it just a few minutes and let it go ahead and find some satellites now you may need to go outside you want to get a lock on you know six satellites or more okay as you can see there we've got a lock right now it's using four of four five of five and once you reset that state and done those few things your GPS will lock on a lot easier as you can see here my Wi-Fi is not on so then you can go over here to your maps and it should not take too long and it'll give you a lock on your location so if you do those few little tricks there it'll help you to uh, get your GPS working properly I haven't had any issues with my GPS now um, this widget up here if you hit menu go to editing mode see the little square if you touch that it will give you a location of all your different widgets that you can put onto your home screen and once you pick like here's a folder once you pick that folder and you put it on whatever screen you want it to be on just back arrow out of that now you have a folder there that's empty and you can put anything you want in it now once you want to edit that folder you touch the little pencil you can adjust the way they're separated uh, and actually here too you can change the name of the folder itself if you don't want that you touch on it take it up here to the little recycling symbol and it will delete it now as you can see here the widget that I'm using for my clock it is the fancy widget it's fancy clock and you can uh, it's, I believe it's called fancy widgets I believe is the name of the actual app that you can download and of course they have multiple different uh, settings and configurations and everything you can do with it So kind of gives you an editing mode it shows you kind of a four-way square of where everything can go which makes it you know kind of nice and I don't know if you'll be able to see it there's this little tab right here if you touch this tab you can quickly scroll through all of your different screens and whatever screen you're on of course go back to home now two you have launcher settings if you go into your launcher settings of course you have you know some other issues you have the type of scrolling effect you get uh, you have a 3d cube so when you scroll it's going to give you kind of that cube look which I know a lot of people like to have that option as far as different types of scroll effects uh, you have a 3d cube you have rotation see so we'll just go ahead and walk through all these real quick uh, you have cascading page fall down you have crossfade which is the one I like as you can see they start to get transparent as you move them and then of course you have classic no overshot and classic so This has been my review of the MIUI ROM. Now on my website I'll have a bunch of links to the different locations on XDA developers where I downloaded all of the stuff for this ROM.